From the dizzying heights of 18 Qs with the Ignite firing system, we now come back down to Earth with a 1Q system. You might be thinking, what's the point of just having 1Q? Well, in certain circumstances, these can be quite useful. So we'll take a look at that in this video. I bought this system as a set of four along with two remotes, a single button remote and a four button remote. You can buy these singly or you can also buy them as a set of 12 with a 12 channel remote control. A quick product disclosure, I bought these entirely with my own money and paid full price for them. This is known as a distributed 1Q firing system and the clue really as to their use is in the word distributed. Whereas with an Ignite system or a DBO4, you would have your firing system center to the fireworks and the fireworks spread around them and limited by the distance you can use with your igniters or any extensions. With this system, you're actually dedicating one firing system and one queue to each physical firework. This means that the range limitation is only limited by that of the remote control, which is significantly further than running bell wire. Clearly, if you're a standard back garden displayer, all your fireworks are in one place. This is not the best value way of going about uh, electrically firing. To give you some examples of prices, a single system from a UK seller currently costs around £20, that's without a remote control. Um, a DB04 with four queues is about £30, so that's much better value per queue. To get four queues on this system like this, um, you'd be looking at around £72. A full 12 queues comes in at over 200 pounds. That's more than an Ignite system with 18 queues. So if you don't need the distributed aspect of this system, then stick with a normal firing system. Also, there's practical issues to consider. Each unit takes four AAA batteries. So 12 of these would eat up an awful lot of batteries. But let's say you've got all of your main fireworks in one place at the bottom of your garden and you want to fire something a bit closer to spectators like a category F2 fountain. Rather than run along bell wire or hand fire it, you could use one of these systems. Also, these can be handy if you've got fireworks that are a bit awkward to get to during your main display. An example of this would be lance work or a set piece, that type of thing, which is mounted high up on a frame. You could set that up to run off one of these. So all you have to do is use the remote to ignite it from anywhere on your firing site. Other uses for this, according to the manufacturer, include special effects and also as a body worn device if you've got uh, pyrotechnics like bullet hits, but I'm not an expert in those fields, so I can't comment on whether this type of system would be suitable for that. So let's take a closer look at one of these now. You've got an extendable area, two standard push down terminals which take bare copper igniter ends, an on off button also slides up to a test mode, and a learn button to pair up remotes. The unit is labelled as Alpha Fire from RF Remo Tech. On to measurements now, each unit measures three centimetres high. It's just over five centimetres wide and the other dimension is just under five centimetres long, so it's not quite a uniform square shape. Here's a shot of it next to a DB04 so you can see how it compares for size. I mentioned I have two remote controls for this system which I bought with it. One is a one button remote control, the other has four buttons. Although these will look familiar to you if you have bought DBO4s in the past, please be aware that I can't get the four button remote from this system to pair with my DBO4 despite the fact it looks identical to remotes bought with that system. And likewise my DBO4 remote won't pair with this system. So just a, a word of caution when you're buying one of these, do buy a remote control at the time, which you know is definitely going to be compatible with it. On to performance now, and when I first received this system, I was using it just to let off some novelty items in the back garden using Talon clips. And I found that about half of them wouldn't ignite, which I thought was a little unusual. I've had great success with Talon clips. So I decided to look at this a little bit closer. The fire LED pulses when you press a button on the remote control, but I noticed that the pulse was actually quite short. So taking a look at this now on this video clip, you'll see me pressing the remote control button and the pulse being really quite uh, brief. And I don't think really that this is long enough to ignite a Talon clip reliably. To demonstrate that point further, I've put a DB04 and one of these next to each other, both with a bulb in, and I'm going to fire them both at the same time so you can see how long the pulse is compared to each other. As a point of interest, 
I try to do this by having the remote from this system and my DBO4 and pressing them both at the same time. When I did that, nothing whatsoever happened on either system. So it would appear that the two remote controls could be jamming each other. That's just a useful word of caution then. If you are firing electrically and you've got mixed systems, do some tests first if you intend ever to fire two things at the same time to make sure that the remotes don't jam each other. So what I had to do instead is film them both separately and superimpose the videos on top of each other. But if we have a look at that video clip now, you'll see that when I press the fire buttons on both, the pulse from the DBO4 is substantially longer. Let's just play that again, it was over quite quickly. This is why, in my opinion, the DBO4 is perfectly fine with Talons, but this system isn't. I don't think the pulse is long enough. The UK seller for this system makes no mention of Talon clips either way, whether they do or don't work. I fed back my experience with Talons to them uh, many months ago, last year in fact, and th there's been no update to their website. And the manufacturer, RF Remotech, their website is very hard to navigate, and that makes no mention of Talon clips either. So I've learned the hard way, if you're looking for a 1Q system to let off Talons, uh, this isn't it. On to E-matches now, standard igniters. There shouldn't be any problem letting those off, even with a short pulse, and in fact, that is the case. I've had no problems with single igniters. How about multiple igniters? Well, a little bit of confusion here. The UK seller says that you should only let off one at a time, which seems quite measly. Um, the RF Remotech website, I'm sure at one point, did say you could let off two, although they mentioned in serial. But when I was doing my research for the video, I didn't bookmark that page and I can't find it again. So I don't know if they've had a change around on their website. So I'm gonna actually start by trying to fire six igniters. I'm gonna do them in parallel. I'm gonna be using one of these boards. It's actually designed, I think, for a model railway controller. So you have one input and you have as many parallel outputs as there are terminals there. I'm doing six, that's not a scientifically derived number by any means, it's just that I happen to have another project on the go for another video where I need six electrical igniters to go off at the same time. And if I could do it with this, it would be quite handy. So over to the garden then, on my test firing site, which as you know is a patio table, no brick needed this time though. So pressing the fire button for six and nothing whatsoever happens. The fire button on this unit doesn't even light up. I've checked all my connections and tried again and nothing happens. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out one of the igniters to drop us down to five. There are still six igniters showing in the bunch here. That's because I've only disconnected it at the board end. I haven't actually physically removed the igniter. So let's see what happens with five. And again, nothing whatsoever happens when I press the fire button. So let's take another igniter out. So we're dropping down to four. Let's see what happens then. As you can see, four fired okay. And sorry for the camera shake when I jumped. I really ought to be used to this by now, but every time I do this, I still jump. So there we are. So four are okay. Um, just for good measure, the two that didn't fire, I then connected those up to the board just to make sure that they will fire okay as well. And as you can see, to fire okay. So a low four will fire. If you intend to use multiple igniters on the system, please do some checks beforehand with your length of igniters, your brand of igniters, and any extension wire that you're using. I think in all honesty, given the short pulse time of this, I'm going to say for me personally, I'm gonna look at this as a one Q, one igniter system, rather than trying to fire multiple igniters from it. So bear that in mind if you're wanting to set off a couple of fireworks away from your main display. You might need to fuse the two fireworks together or indeed use two separate systems, which you can pair up to fire off the same button on the remote control. So to conclude, this is a small system in terms of size and in performance. I couldn't get Talons to fire. You may have different results. I note on the manufacturer's website, there's a newer version actually has come out since I bought this, which takes a PP3 battery. But whether that also has a longer pulse, I don't know. But this particular system, I would take it as being a no for Talons. It fires E matches, standard E matches okay if your expectations are for maybe one or two. Now, clearly this can't be compared to an Ignite or a DBO4. This has a completely different use scenario. So within that particular niche, if you need a small 
one Q, one igniter system. This does what it says on the tin. And I think price-wise, £20 for one of these plus a remote, if you do have a need for it, I think it's quite good value. Otherwise, if you're just a standard back garden displayer and all your fireworks are in one place, your money is probably better spent on DBO4s or Ignite systems and so on. Well, that's all from me. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. As always, please hit that like button and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps out my channel enormously and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.